Hello gamers and gamerettes, I'm your host Dargarth the Gaming Redneck, and we're coming back to you with some another episode, An another episode of Dangaromp, another episode of Ultra Despair Girls, so let's go. Chapter 1 Crying for Love and Hell. Oh, wow. <laughs> Suicide Geo. Yay. Ah, so that Monokuma is some kind of automaton robot. I see. I see. <laughs> no wonder it sucks more than the other one. Well, that's modern technology for you. <laughs> I mean, it's not like this is sci-fi or something. It's borderline sci-fi at most. to rescue me? <laughs> hmm. Dekumaru, was it? It's Komaru. Komaru Naegi. And where's Master Byakuya? You know where he is, right? Huh? That gun you're holding... <laughs> Oh, it's dripping with the master's scent. You can smell it? You got a death wish or something? Hiding master from me will cut your life expectancy. No, 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 I'm, I'm not hiding it. Ten, nine, eight, seven... What are you doing? If you don't give me my master by the time I get to zero, I'm gonna cut you like wet mochi. Four, three, two. Oh, hold on! I really don't know it. What? Uh, 
<laughs> uh, oh, wait, uh, don't tell me. You're Kamaru Nagi, aren't you? I got it, right? Uh, I just told you that. Oh, did you? I, I, I can't help it, you know. I don't share memories with her. Her? M memories? Call me your ally. Then come on! If we don't hurry, we're gonna get attacked! It, it's all right. Huh? No, it's... It's all right. I can do it, because I made a promise. With him. <laughs> Tal Talco... That ability is not a curse, it's a talent. Oh, an um, amazing talent that holds oh, incredible possibilities. Oh, master, th th thank you. Thank you very much. Master that talent. Do it for me. Yeah, yeah, yes. Uh. <laughs> I'm not touching that one. <laughs> um, are you okay? <sighs> like I said, it will be all right. I can make good use of her now. I've learned a lot since then. We're gonna take them all down right here, right now. I'll, I'll smash them to pieces. Let's go, um, oh, Omaru Naegi. Omaru?
That was all of them, right? Amazing. That was amazing. What was that just now? It's like you were a totally different person. Too casual. Huh? D -d Don't speak to me so casually, like I'm one of your friends or something. I'm your senior. But, but you still haven't told me your name. I'm sure you're just going to forget it right away. But it's Toko Fukawa. Toko Fukawa? Oh, sorry for having such a boring name. I bet you think it's perfect for a hag like me, right? I, I don't think that at all. And anyway, what was that all about earlier? You were a completely different person. I couldn't tell you. What? I d don't remember. Didn't I already tell you? We don't share memories. Um... I don't really get it. Ugh, it's like I said, I have a split personality. That girl was Genocide Jack. Okay? Y you don't believe me, right? You think I'm just some filthy woman who's sick in the head. You're probably wondering how a stupid pig managed to learn how to talk, aren't you? I don't think that. Maybe the first bit? I mean, it's true that it's a little hard to believe, and I was pretty surprised. But if that's what you say, I believe you. It was a pretty drastic change, after all. You believe me just like that? What are you, stupid or something? Well, what was I supposed to say? Well, if you really are this stupid, that just makes this easier. It's just... I feel like I've heard the name Genocide Jack somewhere before. I... I see. So, you still remember. Well, no point in hiding it now. It was all over the talk shows back in the day, after all. Talk shows? Wait. Could it be... No! Never mind. Couldn't be. What? It's just... I feel like I've heard a similar name on the news about some serial killer. Yeah, that's the one. What? But that was just in the old days. I, I've completely tamed her since then. Master commanded me to discover the secret, and I learned the stun gun does the trick. And depending on how much shock I give myself, after a while, I go back to my normal self. <laughs> Isn't it great? It's all thanks to Master Byakuya. Crazy as always. Uh, anyway, it seems like a good skill to have. With that power, we can get through them easy. D -d -d Don't be dense. Huh? Didn't I just say I need the stun gun to change? <laughs> my brain would fry if I just did it over and over. I can't just use it at will like that. Really? Anyway, what is your relationship with Master Byakuya, hmm? Why do you have that hacking gun? I, I was saved by him earlier. He gave this gun to me. S saved? Master Byakuya saved you? <laughs> I will protect Komaru Naegi. I swear it on my life. No. I swear in the name of the Togami family! You better not get ahead of yourself. Just because you're ugly. In a... in a cute way. Why are you angry? Remember this. I won't let anyone interfere in my romance with Master. I'm going to rescue Master, and then, in the heat of the moment, we'll... Oh. Huh? 
rescue? Oh, wait, hold on. Byakuya was captured? What, you just figured that out? Why would I even be here if it weren't for Master? He was probably ambushed by cowards. There's no way he'd just allow himself to be captured. I... I see. So he was caught after all. You better not feel responsible for this. Your guilt would be an insult to my master. You're right. My worrying won't change anything. <sighs> What's with this chick? I can't believe I got a chick who's such a sexy girl. What was that? N nothing. And watch your mouth! I'm so terribly sorry? It's fine. You're a lost cause anyway. But more importantly, I want to hurry up and find Master. Now is not the time to relax. You're right. We've got to get out of this building. Well then, after you. Huh? Why do I have to go first? You have Master's gun, don't you? But don't worry. When you're really in trouble, I'll save you. I can't have you dying on me. Now, come on! Stop staring off into space and get moving already! You're not dead yet. Uh, fine. What is this? Training potty? Well, <laughs> if it isn't your little buddy, Maybe you should try riding on it. Hey, who are you calling a baby? You're offended, but you're still gonna ride it? Huh. This is surprisingly relaxing. S seriously? Dark and depressing, just like me. Yeah, right. Right? Why didn't you deny it? That means you agree, don't you? Oh, just as I thought. Humans cannot be trusted. Humans? You are having delusions. I prefer to call it imagination. Why is this shutter here? We can't even go down. This wasn't here when I was on the roof before. What's going on? You can't open it? It's impossible. There's no power. Then what should we do? Oh, don't worry. There's a mystical spell that magically opens the door. Let's chant it together. What? Seriously? Of course not. Obviously, we just have to look for the switch and turn on the power. Uh, oh, right. Are those people... So cool. So just by for looking, what are you, dance? What? What are you doing? Are you an idiot? I'm trying not to look at the body. I have a fear of blood. I see. Oh. You with the fear of blood. Didn't expect that. What's going on? What? I'm not allowed to have a girly side just because my own personality is a serial killer. Uh. I wasn't trying to be insulting. What? But if you're afraid, shouldn't you just stay away from it? 
I can't just keep saying I'm afraid. I need to overcome my fear of blood. After all, you gain meaning in life through personal growth. Um. That's surprisingly positive outlook. Surprisingly? I thought you said you didn't want to be insulting, but I was just repeating, Master. This is not funny at all. As I just can't stand it. Just the smell of blood is enough to make me faint. If Master wants, I give up on the whole personal growth thing. Anything else we want to do? It's over here. I can't go that way. Uh, the, the power's out. I don't like dark places. That's a power panel. I wonder if we can do something to turn it on. Okay then. Let's go. Uh, um, Toko? About this gun, wouldn't it be better if you used it? I'm allergic to machines. Oh, <laughs> well, if you have allergies, then I guess it can't be helped. It don't take long before I realize it. I understand it was when I saw a co-worker on the roof floor with his eyes ripped out. I understand it when I saw my boss with his intestines in his hand. I realize that is pure insanity, but even though I know this, I still can't convince myself that it is real. Okay. Watch the gate. Which way to get out of here? Akuma kid. I've 
seen this kid before. No, it's probably just another one. Those brats are all wearing helmets like this. Huh? Really? <laughs> but why are they wearing helmets? I, I don't know. These kids only ever talk to each other. Even at a time like this, they're playing around like a bunch of idiots. This stupid brats. But isn't it dangerous? What if they get attacked by Monokumas? No, you don't get it. These brats are working with the Monokumas to kill all the adults. They're what? Kids killing adults? It's completely insane. But we can't just attack these brats. It's so frustrating. Tee. <laughs> Tee. <laughs> anyway, Toko, what's that box next to that kid? Who knows? Maybe you should open it. Time for a tutorial. I'm sure a smart gamer like you already knows about truth bullets are limited resources. And there are exceptions like move, but worry about exceptions in no way to the Truth bullets are replenished with item boxes or by picking up the ones dropped by Monokumos. Other than bullets, you might find hearts to heal HP or batteries for a genocide jack. Resupply yourself skillfully so you don't find yourself full of one item but empty of another. Is that kid giving this to us? Why help us like this? My guess is they're carrying out someone's order. Huh? Order? Who cares anyway? No point wasting our time worrying about mentally damaged kids. Well, that might be true, but it's fine. Jeez, you're slow. Hurry up already. Uh, okay. All right, folks, we're going to end this video here. And like always, how we end our videos, be a gamer and play the game.